Today I want to show you the sail concept out of the gun tight slot type like wing formation. And there's really two ways to run this. Now this is in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. And today we're going to be looking at the play bench. And we're also going to be looking at the play flood. Now traditional sail concept is going to be out of a play such as the play flood. But I'm going to show you a little twist that you can do to this that will really help combat some of the best defenses that you're going to be facing. Now, if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the Patreon or to the Patreon down below, and the Patreon membership will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. And again, it's only ten dollars to sign up, and again, you get everything, you get all the updates, everything. So, the sale concept: How do you run the sale concept, and why do you run the sale concept? The sale concept is essentially a vertical route that is going to pull the deep zones or deep defenders. So, we're going to utilize a streak on the outside left receiver. Then we're going to utilize a corner that is going to attack the intermediate sideline of the field and typically we'll get over the top of a hard flat and potentially a curl flat zone as you can see right here. So this is going to force your opponent to have to uh, you know, drop uh, cloud flats or they're going to have to maybe drop their zone drops back. And so you're going to kind of complete this concept by utilizing a running back flat or some type of flat that is going to stretch that flat uh, or that underneath sideline to that side of the field. So if you think about it, uh, a sail concept has three routes that are going to be going uh, to the left side of the screen in this example. So the kind of natural defense that you're going to get that might counter something like this would be to utilize a hard flat on this defender, a deep flat on this defender, essentially have five defenders that are going uh, over here to the sideline, and then now what that does is it limits what they can do on the right side of the field. So uh, what I like to do with this is we're going to utilize a slot apprentice post on our slot receiver, and then we're going to block our running back. So essentially we have the same basic concept here. We're going to have a little bit more protection. And what you're going to see is in that example there, the you, they're going to have to user the post route. Okay. Now the best counter to the sale concept is to double Mabel basically, okay? So obviously we have other concepts in the arsenal that are going to attack that, but typically a double Mabel, they're gonna have some kind of deep zone defender. And what you can do is you could run a concept like this, especially if you know they're, they're uh, dropping people back, then you can utilize a curl in the middle of the field uh, to be able to attack it as well uh, in, in that scenario, okay? So you have a couple different options uh, in terms of how to run this. Now, one of the things that a lot of people will try to do to stop this is to create a bracket concept on the actual sail route, which is in this case is going to be a deep corner. So what they're going to do is they're going to man him up. And what you're going to see here is it may not exactly stop it, but as you can see, it does. And it, and it, and it makes it a harder throw. So what I like to do is to kind of essentially counter that adjustment by utilizing uh, the bench concept uh, or the bench play. And so what bench is going to do is going to give us a corner route now to the other receiver. And so we're going to kind of recreate the same basic concept. We're going to fade the uh, slot receiver here. We are going to out route the running back. And then with our inside receiver here, we're going to either put him on a curl or we're going to put him on an in or we're going to put him on a post. So this concept right here will really do a good job against that adjustment because now the corner route is going to a different receiver and it actually is going to do a better job specifically at attacking that cover two coverage. Now you might be asking, well, what are the, some of the ways and how do you beat man coverage with the sale concept? And that's really where we're taking advantage of the fact that we have this tight end drag. So when we block our running back here or even just put the running back on a, uh, an out route or an in route, you're going to see right here that the running back is going to beat man. That post over the middle of the field is going to beat man. And that corner route, actually, it certainly can beat man. I'll show that real quick here. Um, the corner routes can beat man coverage this year. They're not as good as they've been in years past. Uh, but if you basically just passing this to the sideline, you can get a lot of times the separation. Now, if your opponent is running a lot of man coverage and you still want to utilize this concept, one of the best things you can do is actually leave this deep, post route to uh, the receiver and then again just take that running back and we're going to put him on an in route. What you're going to see here is now we've got a lot of man beating routes that have potential to be man including this deep post uh, which actually didn't get the separation we wanted there but that deep post can be man especially cover zero because a lot of times cover zero is not going to have any safety help over the top 
and they're going to have to drop and shade outside to maybe take away that corner. So you see here, that deep post just absolutely destroys man coverage and can give you uh, a really, really good way to attack man. So the beauty of Sail is that it attacks man and zone coverages. It does a pretty good job against match as well uh, by breaking down the defense. Again, one of the cool little variations of this would be to do something uh, like this right here on the back end where we have an out and we have a curl. And the reason why is because curls beat man this year. They beat match this year. And it will sit in a zone coverage if your opponent is running a defense that looks something like this. Now, all of a sudden, it's a lot more difficult to defend because we have this curl route that's just going to sit kind of in the middle of the field over the, uh, just like that right there, as you saw, it was wide open. So the sale concept can get a lot accomplished for your offense. You can always kind of tweak what you're doing backside. The primary thing is we want to force them to have to drop at least five defenders over on the left side of the, of the play. And then now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to just pepper them with curl routes uh, in the middle of the field. So, and then obviously, of course, playmaker and, and all that is if the play breaks down. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, uh, the link is going to be down below in the description to join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars uh, to become a Patreon member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. Thanks for watching the video. We're going to end it on kind of a negative note, uh, but make sure you check out the Patreon, guys. Really, really good stuff in there. And again, I, I guarantee it's probably going to make you um, a much better Madden player because you're going to be able to learn not only why or what plays to call, but why to call those plays, why they work, and what they don't work against. So again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, the link's going to be down in the description.